Wharton's first application essay is a good old fashioned classic career statement or goal statement essay. I love these kinds of essay questions because they're really helpful to applicants on knowing what to include. I'm going to read it because there are a lot of tips right there in the prompt. Essay one, how do you plan to use the Wharton MBA program to help you achieve your future professional goals? You might consider your past experience, short and long-term goals, and resources available at Wharton. You have 500 words. And just as a side note, that 500 words is a very strict limit. They do use a word counter. They're one of the few schools to use a word counter, so you're going to have to be right there at 500 in order for it to fit. But anyway, this question I love because if you've ever heard me talking about career statements, you know the way I think about them, that you always want to give a vision for the future, explain how it connects to the past, and then demonstrate how business school, uh, business school X in this case, um, in this case, Wharton will be the bridge between where you're headed and where you've been. And lo and behold, that's exactly what Wharton is encouraging you to think about as you craft this response. So my, my tips to you are really give some thought to being honest with yourself about what your goals are, making sure that they're logical. So making sure that you, they, they are grounded in your experience somehow, whether they served as the inspiration or they have enabled you and outfitted you with skills and experiences that are relevant. Um, also make sure that it's just a, not too drastic of a jump. And if it is too drastic of a jump, I don't know, maybe you're a management consultant and you want to go launch your own business immediately after business school. Well, think about plausible stepping stones to get you there. So maybe you won't be ready with your idea for your startup right at uh, when you graduate. So maybe you will do something else in the meantime. So include that something else. Beyond that, I really want you to think about what resources at Wharton you need to avail yourself of in order to reach those goals. And, and think about why you specifically need them. Maybe there are aspects of your leadership you want to get stronger at. Maybe it's your presentation skills. Maybe it's giving tough feedback. Maybe you have lots of experience in marketing, but you don't have a lot of quantitative financial analysis, and your hope is to pivot into management consulting where that will be um, an important aspect of your toolkit that you'll give to future clients. So really... Spend some time looking inward about what you need and then identifying the specific resources and experiences at Wharton that will enable you to close that gap. If Wharton's first application essay was all about what Wharton can do for you, its second application essay is the opposite. It's all about what you can do for Wharton. Here's the prompt. Taking into consideration your background, personal, professional, and or academic, how do you plan to make specific meaningful contribution to the Wharton community, and you have up to 400 words. I think this essay is great because it really gives, well, when, when well done, it really gives Wharton a sense of who you are and who you will be as a leader and team member on campus. As a few tips here, as a first step, I encourage you actually to think about your passions, hobbies, experiences, things that have been really important to you or challenging for you or rewarding for you. Start there. Identify a few, three to four to even five of those, depending, um, that cover a range of personal, professional, and or academic. You don't have to hit on all of them. You can. You can hit on some mix. Once you've got that list, then I want you to look at Wharton's resources, its clubs, its classes, the professors, the experiences, and think about how those things that you've identified may be relevant on campus. So for example, perhaps you are a management consultant and one of your clients was in the autonomous vehicle space and no one on your team knew much about it. And you really had to develop a 101 about the autonomous vehicle space to train up your team and as such you became kind of the resident expert. Well, how could that manifest itself on Wharton's community? Well, maybe you will join the transportation club, whatever it might be called at Wharton. That's part of research you need to do. And maybe you can actually design workshops or a boot camp for your classmates who are inter interested in the space, but maybe they don't have a lot of experience yet. And you could share your expertise with your classmates. That's just one example. But 
what it requires is introspection and then research about what's available at Wharton so that you can really think about the impact. I don't want you to worry too much like, uh oh, does this thing already exist? Don't worry about that. Obviously, um, let's say you're a management consultant and you say, and I want to establish a consulting club when I get to campus. Well, okay, that's pretty basic research. You should have known that that kind of, that the consulting club already existed. But whether or not somebody is already giving a boot camp or a workshop uh, on autonomous vehicles, that's not necessarily as critical for you to know. So don't get bogged down in those sorts of details or worries. Really think about what you can bring to campus and share that with Wharton. Wharton's last application essay is an optional essay. And this time, contrary to some optional essays out there, this one is really optional. And for the most part, I don't think you're going to need to use it. So let me read it. Please use this space to share any additional information about yourself that cannot be found elsewhere in your application and that you would like to share with the admissions committee. This space can also be used to address any extenuating circumstances, for example, unexplained gaps in work experience, choice of recommenders, inconsist inconsistent or questionable act academic performance, areas of weakness, et cetera, that you would like the admissions committee to consider. You have up to 500 words. So a few things here. Now, number one, like several schools optional essays, this is a space to address and own any red flags or just explain things that you just may not have been able to explain elsewhere. Maybe you didn't get the highest bonus in your second year of banking because they already knew you were leaving for private equity. That might be something you might want to explain, not necessarily, but you can just point these things out. Or maybe if there's a confusing job switch, you could point it out here if you needed to. But what it's typically not designed for is an additional essay. However, I will say that Wharton gives you a little bit more freedom here. If there's something that there just isn't room for somewhere else in the application that you want to share with Wharton, you can do it. However, my standard advice with this essay, with a typical optional essay, still holds. Remember that as the admissions reader, committee reader, they have you know, tons of applications to get through and they know what to expect. And by the time they get to that optional essay, they really don't want to see anything there. So you can put it in there, but recognize you are asking for more time from the admissions committee readers. So make sure that whatever you're sharing really could not fit anywhere else and is imperative for the admissions committee to know about you as they evaluate your candidacy.